seen that. X Men Origins, the Wolverine. Just Wolverine, I believe. X Men Origins, Logan, the Wolverine. The what do you think is more? The last stand of Logan Wolverine. Do you think Fast and the Furious first class versus the X Men franchise? Which one has a worse naming structure? Oh yeah. Uh, well, I want to say I still want to lean towards Fast and Furious because I feel like with the the Wolverine ones, they had an idea of what they were gonna do, yeah. and that changed after the Origins came yeah. out. So I don't compl- like. I know it wasn't their intention. I don't know what they're doing over there in the Fast and Furious studio, <laughs> but those names are stupid. I, well, I don't know. I I kind of feel like X Men is worse because you have X Men, right? That's fine. X2 United. Or is it X2 X-Men United? Um, yeah. Yeah, one, one of those. those. And then it's X-Men 3, The Last Stand? The last or is stand. it just X-Men, The Last Stand? I think it's just X-Men, The Last okay, Stand. Okay, so they went from X-Men to X2 X-Men uh, United to X-Men, The Last Stand into X-Men Origins Wolverine into mm-hmm. x-men first class which that one a little confusing putting first into the fifth movie but that's okay then into the wolverine so you got rid of x-men completely then into x-men days of future past which there's a colon so that one's not terrible then you have uh apocalypse. x-men apocalypse and then logan so there's not just there's not really like a great theme yeah no they just kind of do whatever they want it's wonky which to be fair so does fast and furious right because you got the fast and the furious fast and furious two, not tokyo drift too fast too furious fast and furious three tokyo drift fast and furious four fast four furious uh fast five fast and furious six furious seven fate of the furious the fate of the eight. Oh, i always think it's the fate of the eight uh i don't yeah i don't know mate why not at that maybe, point it's number maybe eight. fast and furious is worse because in uh you know i think it is because i think that they think their names are cool and that's where they are worse than you don't uh, maybe they're like oh this is you clever. don't think this is cool <laughs> it's just called fast five now, the fate of the Furious. So they're what a name. they're slated for two more Fast and Furious. I think we talked about it the last uh, Fast and Furious we talked about. But at this point, there's no way that they can get away with just calling these like Fast and Furious Nine and Ten. It's got to be something something dumb, ridiculous. Well, Fast. Well, I don't know. I assume Ten will have like an X in it or something like that. Fast X. It'll be Fast Triple X. Xander oh, and just merge it with all the Vin Xander. Movies. What is his name? Xander Cage. Xander Cage shows up. That would be awesome. Just I, could you imagine uh, Dom versus Xander? I could, and I hate it. <laughs> Anyways, I think people are sick of hearing about Fast and Furious. Uh, I've been <laughs> X Men Origins Wolverine is so yes. we've been talking about the beginning sequence for a while. And about how great uh-huh. it is, yeah. and it is not. It it didn't no. hold up. I mean, it's not as it, it's not bad, but it's not. It didn't get me all pumped up like. You yeah, did. well, like in my head, I was like, I was just this, like is, "This is awesome." Eh. They go through all the wars, they go through all this stuff, and then I watched it. And I was like, "Oh no, this isn't. This isn't very good." They're like, it's more just like interesting. Like, oh, okay, he fought here and here yeah. and here. Like, it's a cool idea. Um, I kind of would have rather the whole movie just been that. Like, seeing them, yeah, fighting. well, them fighting throughout all the wars. Yeah, that no, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not too late. <laughs> um, but so the the beginning. Not great. So I am a little confused about the 
adult child situation. Okay. Yes. Wolverine. Uh-huh. His okay. His dad is that drunk guy who shows the up, one that right? he kills. Yes. Okay. That is also Sabretooth's dad. Yes, they're half brothers. Or do they have the same mom? I know that they're half I, brothers. I think they're just half. I think the I don't think they have the same mom. Well, I know it's half. Okay, so then if they don't, if that's not their mom or dad, who is that couple that they're living with? They are not living together. Or are they living together? No, they're not. I'm so confused. So okay, so Wolverine Logan, which wasn't even his name then. Uh, no, it was it was uh, James. Does no, James sound right? James no. maybe. James Howland. Is that it? Did you just make that up? That's that older. No, that's the. It's kind of stupid, but it kind of follows the theme of Marvel names. But his the dad his name was something Howland. Okay. So you know Howl like a Wolverine. Oh, is that what it is? You get it. That's weird. <laughs> I, that's my assumption. It's based on that. It's Howl. So Wolverine. He might also be Jim Howland. I don't know. Wolverine is living with his mom, his biological mom, and his okay. not real dad, who are married. Okay. His mom yes. cheated on her husband with Sabretooth's dad, who got her pregnant. Uh, okay. Her husband was abusive maybe crazy I'm trying to remember Sabretooth's dad no uh her husband the one that they were living yes. with yes he was like a doctor but i don't think he was like a good doctor i thought he was a good guy <clears throat> so the his real dad shows up and kills him i think for noble reasons and then I thought he showed up because he wanted to see his kids mm-hmm. or something like that, but he was super drunk or whatever, and the stepdad said no and he got killed. Yeah. For it. But I, I think Okay, so when does she get pregnant with Logan? When she get pregnant with him? Um I mean right before he was born, about nine months earlier. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, but she's still <laughs> married to that guy? So, hold on, though. Yeah, okay. Do they or not have the same mom? They have the same dad? We've established that? Or no, we don't know? Yeah, they have the same dad. They don't have the same mom. Okay, so the the mom in this movie is whose mom? Just, just Wolverine's mom. So, okay. So, where is Sabretooth's mom? Why uh, does not, he live with this couple at all if neither of them are his parents? He doesn't. They're just friends. I think he came with his dad because oh. his dad was drunk, and then he just like came with them. I thought he. I thought he was already there. Oh, like, he I was. They were in bed. He was. So Wolverine was sick, and Sabretooth came over. Right. But I think he was just messing with him. I don't think he was. Yeah. No. Okay, yeah. I gotcha. I think they're just like so neighbors. then. Okay, so the dad shows up to see Logan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he he start, It's been a while. He I thought I want to say he started saying like I want to see my son or something like that. Maybe. And, and up until this point, uh-huh. Logan did not know that this other guy was not his dad. No. Yeah, okay. that's why he's like, "You killed my dad," and then he's like, "I am your dad," and then he dies. Oh, which yeah, so the classic. Vader. If I ever get murdered, I'm just gonna go for that. Like whoever does it, always say I'm your father <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Just, just so you know, I'm your dad. And then they'll just the rest of their life they'll be tormented by that. Like, wh- why would he say that? He was younger than me, or you know, hopefully, <laughs> there's no possible way. <laughs> just to you know, really throw them off, make him feel bad about them. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what they get. So, okay. Anyways. Anyways. The doctor ends up shot. Right? Yes. The dude shoots him, like, in the head or something like that. Yeah. But we, I guess we're not quite clear on why. You thought it was a noble reason, like, yeah. Howland is a good yeah, guy? Yeah, I thought he was coming to protect him, because the guy was, like, doing 
crazy experiments. Was there, oh, I don't know where this idea came from. Am I wrong? I don't either. I thought for sure that's I what happened. I think you're wrong. I, where are you getting that he's abusive? I don't, I don't remember that okay. at all. So we watched this movie three weeks ago when we intended to record it. So it's been about three weeks since we've yes. seen it. We generally try to watch it within days of recording the episode. F- freshly. Uh, but that, that unfortunately didn't work out. And we apparently have no idea what I happened think in this movie. This is better because we're going to spend the entire podcast on just the on the opening sequence. scene. Yeah, in my head, maybe might as well. Maybe I'm just like mixing it up with Black Mirror too much or something. But in my head, the the doctor was doing creepy stuff, like in some way. Like I don't know. I don't remember that at all. I remember. I I thought he came off as like the good dad. I think that's what you're supposed to feel originally, but I don't think he was. I thought Wolverine's dad came to save him, but maybe he was just drunk and he wanted to see. I think he came to see his son. They probably don't let him see him. And he got drunk enough that he decided he was going to go over there and then they weren't going to let him. So he shot the other guy. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the guy just stood up to him and he got mad. I mean, it kind of that that makes more sense. Considering that Wolverine is kind of uh, impulsive and he doesn't have a lot of control, which mm-hmm. would make sense. And then plus with Sabretooth. So then he kills his father in his rage. I want to talk about his bone yeah. claws. The, they are so unsettling. The bone claws actually look way better than the metal claws in this movie. Oh no way! Yeah, I love the metal. In claws. this one, the bone claws it, make me feel the CGI like CGI in this. They're so long in this movie. That is so they bad. will just break. You think so? Yeah. Oh, they're terrible. Like in the scene in the bathroom, they like it doesn't even. It doesn't even look like they tried. Oh, I, who knows? I don't know if they tried on a whole lot of this movie. <laughs> I just know that the the way okay. Mm. I, I get that bones are strong. Yeah, I think but so. But for how long those bones are and how small they are, yeah. you know, they're not like an arm bone, like a femur or whatever. I feel like they would break so easily. But don't, like, we don't have bones like that because they would break. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if I agree I with just, you because, like, animals have claws, right? Yeah, but not as long as Wolverine's claws, though. Those are long. But they're, like, pointy. They're, like... uh, It's like a rapier. Yeah, but they're made of bone. (laughs) Yeah, but... I don't know. They're just... I mean, to be fair... The discoloration of them... To to be fair... Drives me nuts. At one point, someone stomps on them, right? And then snaps them right off. Exactly. That shouldn't happen. Yeah, that's why they put metal all over them. See, I think... I know. That's why the metal... Sp- I don't... We're not arguing. I'm just telling you, I don't like <laughs> the bone claws. It's. It feels like we're arguing. Well, I don't like them. It, I think what happened with Besides Wolverine the is they kind of wrote themselves into a corner. Originally. Because they're like, oh, he'll... Oh, yeah. He'll have uh, metal claws and self-healing. And then they like they, added the story about him getting um, the adamantium added to his bones. But then they're like, wait, why does he have claws now? And they're like, well, they pop out like uh, claws. And it just like doesn't. You mean when they wrote the claws? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, and say, because they wrote themselves into many corners just in this movie. <laughs> um. Yeah, so Wolverine and Sabretooth go through all the wars in America, yeah. at least, right? You go. I still love the concept of it. Yeah, no, I think it's cool. I, I'm not going to give up I, on Like that. I said originally, I think a movie just based on that, watching Wolverine and Sabretooth go through all the wars together, I think could be really interesting. Yeah. Um, so we see them fighting Civil War, World War I, World War II, in Vietnam. Yeah, and then Sabretooth gets super rapey. And yeah, for for what? Though? They Just they needed to turn him into a villain, I guess. Yeah. Like it, it didn't yeah. the turn didn't 
wasn't earned at all. Like no, not even close. They it, there should have been progression. Yeah, and it, instead of fighting, fighting, you know, for the good guys, or fighting, 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 and bad guys. Yeah. Well, he because he started shooting innocent people, and then he was gonna rape the woman, and Wolverine went to stop him. Then the other guys were gonna kill him, and then Wolverine fought them, and they all killed them. Like it, it was a weird. Yeah, like. I, I don't know. Also, real quick, wait, kid Logan, did he know that he had those powers yet, or is that when he? I think realized? that's when he got them. Yeah, okay. I think they manifested but, at that point. But he would have always had the healing powers, right? I uh, know. Well, I think the. I think. I don't think you just get powers, right? I think that's just when he realized his power well i think they manifest at a certain point i don't think they're active until you get to like puberty or around there like with rogue in the first one i don't know because look at the jack jack from incredibles <laughs> hey has no his no mixing universes from here. like birth and these are the same universe uh, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. rogue is kissing her boyfriend and then almost kills him it i would i right. would say it's safe to assume that somebody touched her skin at some point in those first 16 years nah, she is she is gross <laughs> no I, I, yeah no i guess that makes sense i always wondered about that that kind of made me mad but i guess that makes sense yeah i'm pretty sure col- con- canonically colon con- <laughs> not colonically canonic how do you say that word con- colonosc- colonoscopy <laughs> is what you're looking for um that they manifest at around puberty Okay. <clears throat> but uh yeah, so that's fine. Wolverine back to the war. Defends the rapist and kills a bunch of soldiers. They get captured and put on the firing line. So my question is they they die, right? They get shot to death or whatever. What happens to them then? They just get buried. Yeah, why did they And th- they have to dig- did they throw them in that cell? Like just in case they come back. Yeah, cuz uh, like so, I know Wolverine. Once he has the adamantium, right? He mm-hmm. bullets bounce off of him, right? They cut his skin, but they bounce off his skeleton. At this time, like you see, his bones snap off. A bullet would go through his skull. That makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> A bullet will go through his skull, and yes, kill him. I would momentarily or whatever instantaneous but how quickly does he come back because his healing factor is like instant when it comes to um like you know flesh wounds cuts yeah and but when he gets Uh, shot in the head with the adamantium bullet at the end of this movie he goes into a coma right or like semi-coma Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. I I have so many questions. If he gets mm. shot and the bullet stays in him, will he just heal with the bullet inside his body or will it push the bullet out? If he get I think it pushes it out, right? I don't know. Have we seen that? I feel like we I have. feel like we have, but I, I don't know. But that would definitely be an issue. You think he's know. just walking around with floating bullets in his body? <laughs> He's Give he, 20 pounds of bullets. He gets shot in the stomach? No, I mean, he would have to because whatever's being damaged on the inside of his body should also be healing. Yeah. That bullet's got to go somewhere. Yeah, I don't uh, know. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why we're trying to rationalize something that doesn't make any sense. But, <clears throat> oh, it makes perfect sense if you think about so, it. So he decides... So. <clears throat> Uh, Sabretooth gets rapey. They get thrown into prison after being does, murdered or being shot on the firing line. Now, does he have identical powers to Logan except for the length of his claws? Like yeah. He has the same They both healing? have the same healing factor, but he is... He... I, I don't know. Now, is it is it a choice for him to run like a Sabretooth? <laughs> or does that feel natural I, to him? I don't like that. I think it feels natural to him. Okay, so that's something that Wolverine chooses not to do. Well, they do have couldn't do, never thought about different 
ish powers, right? Like Sabretooth has got long fingernails and oh, so sharp teeth. But he yeah. he heals, but I don't think he heals as fast as Wolverine does. I don't know. I I'm not like super deep into X Men knowledge. I know a little bit, yeah. but not like I know if anyone What happens if Wolverine is shot in the head by like a shotgun and his brain is like exploded? I think Does he come back? Yeah, I think so. Where would so what like how though? Like people you can people can get shot in the face with a shotgun and lose their entire head. Does that does he just grow a brand new head? He, with he, a new brain? Yeah, I think so. Like I don't know exactly about this, but I believe there's a storyline in the comics where they try to kill Wolverine and they, they're like, we have to destroy every single cell or something like that. Otherwise, he'll regenerate over time. In my head, I feel like the only way to destroy him would be like how to destroy the ring. You just have Throw to... Throw him in lava? Toss him in a pit of lava. Yeah. Well, I think that's how... And he'll still never die, though. He'll just be there forever. Well, I think that's how they killed him in the comics for a long time, was they encased 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 him. (laughs) You're thinking of encasted. Encasted him in uh, Uh adamantium. They, like, dumped it over him. And so his whole body is just trapped inside of it, and he can't bust out. So he's, like, alive in it, but... So he's like Han Solo and Carter. Yeah, basically. That would be horrible. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Yeah, that would be really bad. That would not be fun. So I know, side note, I know you don't, you stopped watching American Horror Story. Yeah, I only watched the first which season. Which is fine. Thank you. Um, there is one season, the <laughs> yeah, Coven, right? The one about witches. Uh-huh. Probably one of the worst ones. But so Kathy Bates is a character in this movie or in this show. Yeah. And she lived in like 16, 1700s. I don't know. Whenever witches were like a thing. Yeah. She was given the power to, she was given like, um, uh, what's it called? Where you can't die. Im- immortality. Yeah. Literally, she, she can't die. Uh-huh. So one of her like arch enemies cuts her head off and has it like buried, like where no one can yeah. find it for like hundreds of years. She is literally alive and like conscious, just buried for hundreds of years. How mad would you go if that happened? Real mad. Very <laughs> mad. Okay, that was the answer I was looking for. Yeah, no, that You're would be right. that would be terrible. But also, if you live forever, it, it, mm-hmm. I wonder how much um, time. Oh no, you still feel each minute. You're still a person. Yeah, but the. So time speeds up as you get older because it becomes more relative, right? Like you have the same experiences, you do the same stuff over and over, like you live the same weeks. And so it feels like as you get older, the years fly by faster. If you live for thousands of years, don't you think that would be similar? not if you're not it's it's the same thing as if you're doing something you like doing all day as opposed to doing something or doing nothing all day that day's gonna feel longer i imagine sitting in a dark box for your whole life would feel the like the longest time probably let's try it let's see let's put you in a dark box and we'll do okay i'm gonna try it (laughs) we'll do some tests i can't like it just makes me think of of the white christmas episode of black mirror yeah. with the 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 consciousness being in the egg yes like do you know that they're having a, a christmas would... special this year actually Is it a christmas special i just heard that's when the new episodes are coming out i think it's only one episode coming out around christmas are you sure eh, i don't know i think so how do you feel about it i haven't watched any trailers but i'm excited is there a trailer? I think so. I could be right. I haven't watched You were it. pretty bummed about the whole last season. I didn't think you'd be excited for new stuff so soon. Well, yeah, the last season was not good. The other three seasons are good. I'm hoping they get back to what was good. But it's still, you know, it makes me nervous that it could be bad again. Yeah. And there may not be a trailer. I haven't... I, I've kind of decided to not look at trailers or, like, 
get myself hyped up for stuff until oh, like I'm ready so to see it. You're taking the me approach. I, I'm not taking the you approach. That's exactly that's not a, that's not just like approach. a you thing. You're not the first person to have decided that. No, but maybe I'm the like the third. The person. third, yeah, maybe. Maybe, but fourth. you still that you don't get to claim that as you. If you're the third person on the moon, you don't get to decide that it's yours. Yeah, if I, if I do it a specific way. If you do it in a specific way, you just get to claim the moon. Listen, don't worry about it. Okay, <laughs> it's not going to happen. But this is happening, <laughs> and it's the me. I don't man. like it. I don't want this to happen anymore. I thought that might turn you away. <laughs> we we have not talked about the Wolverine movie at all. Uh, yeah, that's okay. But we did talk about. Um, we did have some callbacks to Black that's Mirror true. and to American that's Horror true. Story. I guess that's it, guys. That's the end of the podcast for this week. Thanks for listening. So we're gonna no 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 hold on. We need to talk about Into the Badlands <laughs> show. Uh, Wolverine. We'll talk about that when we talk about the Wolverine, Wolverine. and Sabretooth get rescued, pulled out of prison by Stryker, young Stryker. What does the world think when they have a firing squad and then they don't die? Are they just like, oh, well, we tried. Just throw them Yeah, it, the, the time jumping makes these movies really inconsistent because yep. they act like in the first one, X -Men, or mutants are like relatively new. Then you go back right. 50 years and it's like, oh, they're not that new. They're just kind of new. Then they go back thousands of years. An apocalypse. And they're like, yeah. And they've been around forever. have been around forever. And it's like, wait, what's your storyline here? Because the whole point was, oh, over millions and millions of years, uh, humans started to evolve beyond what we know as humans. And that's what you get mutants, right? But do you prefer that? Or do you prefer imagining that since the beginning of, of human, there's been mutants? I don't I don't care. They just don't tell a consistent story. Like whatever yeah. whatever they want to do is fine with me if they want to be like, "Oh, that they've always been here or it's a new thing." But you can't have it both ways. I'm all I'm all about it being forever. I want to know that there were like some mutant historical figures. I'm not Spartacus was a mutant. Was he? In real life, <laughs> yes. Um But yeah, so in the TV show, oh, no. Dang it. They didn't go that route. They weren't historically canon. They didn't do the colonoscopy historically. Oh, that's so disappointing. It was pretty. It was pretty disappointing. Um, but no, you're right. They're very inconsistent about the existence of mutants. Um, but somehow Stryker gets involved. Yeah. So Stryker shows up, and what do you think of the casting of Stryker? It's fine. I don't know. He. I think it's great. Another callback to American Horror Story. But actually, you didn't. I watch didn't that. watch that. That doesn't feel like a callback. Is it the same actor? It's the yeah, Danny Houston, and it's actually the same season. Okay, same season. The one else. Oh, the Coven. One I, I thought you were talking about the, the Coven. Like, yeah. How is that the same season? Uh, winter season. So, uh, Striker gets involved. He's already got a team, decides these guys would be great for his yeah. team. So on his team, you have Wade Wilson, who becomes Deadpool, who is not Deadpool yep. in this. Uh, no, is he ever even called Deadpool? No. He's not, right? But he's called Wade. He's called Wade. Yeah, he's Wade. Um, and it's definitely, and have definitely Charlie, Deadpool. And have Charlie from Lost. Oh, no, it is Deadpool. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, the only Charlie one. Charlie from Lost with the... Dumbest power, in my opinion. Yeah, what does he does he control electricity or does he control technology? I was a little confused by that. I don't know because would you consider a light bulb technology that you can control? No, because if that if that's fine, but you can also fly a ship. Those are two way different things. Yeah, you got to decide. Yeah, it wasn't. It was kind of hard to tell what his actual power. Unless was. the ship runs on light bulbs. I may be. Ah. Uh, I don't care for it. Um, but he also controls elevators. Yeah. Well, then, and then there's Will I Am, who really quick. I'm not done oh, with sorry. Charlie yet. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like. I like when just there's... called Charlie. 
<laughs> I don't. What's his name in the in the movie? I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know if they ever even what, say his what's name. What's his it's actual name? Enough. Uh, Dominic. Yeah, Monaghan. Dominic Monaghan. It's true. What's the what's so the song I don't, from I don't Lost? Like... It's so bad. The song. Yeah, from Lost. Oh, you are everybody. <laughs> You are about it. No, it's a. It's I, the how did they? Song. I don't know how they got so. They're popular. like the the biggest band in the world, and that was the song Lost wanted you to think made them that way. You all, everybody. Exactly. You know how it is. So I don't like in movies and TV shows when there's a character who can control things. Yes. I don't like when they put like their fingers to their temple to focus. Well, how else do you do I, it? It drives me nuts. You I gotta think touch it's right so here. Stupid. Just think about it. Can he not do it if he's not touching? Well, what about when they put their hands out? Because that's a stupid. Like, like what? Like Magneto? yeah, like when they're gonna you know stiff arm the world into their powers. Is Ma- okay? Is Magneto controlling things with his hands or with his mind? Um, I always thought it was with his mind. Is it not? Okay. I don't know. Maybe it is because he kind of acts like he's doing it with his hands. But then also, I don't like when Magneto and I don't remember if we talked about it in the last. We're going back to the last stand now. <laughs> when he creates this is, that, when he this is how jail, bad this movie is. <laughs> yeah, it really is. When he escapes his jail and he's on his floating platform mm-hmm. and he c- crosses his arms like a like Houdini or something. It's or <laughs> genie. It's so stupid. I hate it. Houdini in a straight jacket? Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Because <laughs> I, I feel like who that, that's what I was picturing. I feel like Houdini is not just someone Wait, did Houdini not have powers? Because I believe, like I was saying, Spartacus and Houdini were Oh, humans. okay. I just I thought you were saying, you know, Houdini historically or famously known for having his arms crossed. That's how I took your statement. But I didn't realize he you meant... He was a very <laughs> disapproving guy. I didn't realize you meant because he was a mutant also. That that makes more sense. No, I meant... I don't know why I said Houdini. No, but because I meant of the... Genie. You know, with the, <laughs> oh, okay. It is because of the straight jacket thing. I think that's what I was picturing. He just liked his arms like that. That was a regular jacket yep. for him. I mean, that's probably Anyways. mostly what you've seen him in. So maybe I'm the one being unfair. Unlikely. Uh, yeah, I don't like the the putting the the two fingers to the temple and like really. Uh, how else are you supposed to do I it? Think that's so stupid looking. Just control it. Just do it. Also, how else are you because, supposed to? Okay, when he's playing his little game with the light uh, bulb, he doesn't have to do that. He just holds the light bulb and he does it. Uh, Professor X never does it, does he? He just kind of shows up. Generally. Yeah, he just does. They it. just put the camera behind his ear, and that's how you know he's using his. His powers. That, that, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how they visually tell you. They just move the camera angle right behind them. And it's like, oh, he's being serious. It's the same with Jean Grey, right? She doesn't have to use her hands. She just does she, it. She does use her hands when she's the Dark Phoenix. But that's because she's got so much power, she's got to push it around. Um, All of this is beside the point. I think his what is the stupid point? little power... Yeah. There's it, it's stupid. We are. Everybody. He should not be on this team. He he was like related. He was like freaking Striker's wife's like cousin. They're like <laughs> he's him just on the his team. nephew. He's a mutant. <laughs> he gets picked on by the other mutants because his power is so yeah. dumb. Just let him in, and he's like, fine. He can fly the ship. I, I did. Guess. I did think him being a carny was kind of a nice touch at the when he dies. Yeah, that's all <laughs> he should ever be. But they have to. He should have lived his life as a. Client. They established. They had to establish him why he would know where Logan was. But he didn't know, did he? he didn't oh know no, anything. he he wasn't looking for Logan. I guess he was just killing everyone to get Logan's attention. Uh, okay, I thought they were killing to get their to harness their abilities. You're right, man. I am so dumb. But why did he kill? But then, but but you're right. He had no reason to kill Charlie. He didn't. There was no ability anybody wanted. That's the biggest insult. He killed Charlie. Was like, <laughs> now nah, we're not going to take any of this. Um. Yeah. Why did they? I mean, I I would think they were just trying to get all the powers for Deadpool or Wade, whatever the Super Soldier. What? Well, I I don't know what their weapon. Weapon Eleven. 
Is it Weapon 11? Yeah. Um. But okay, so my confusion is right. Sabretooth is working for Striker, killing all these guys. Why then does Striker go to Logan and say we need to get Sabretooth? Why not have Sabretooth just go after Logan directly? Because he need uh, he wanted to convince Logan to get the procedure done. Like that's what he needed to do, right? Oh, that's right. He didn't have man. I so I I, I, I I'm reaching, but I, I'm pretty sure it was implied because he fought Sabretooth and mm-hmm. lost that he needed. Like this is what you're going to need to do. To, to that's be- right. So they were going to wipe his memory originally, but he heard, and then that's when he busted out butt naked and started killing everybody. So they. They do the procedure. Yeah. They put all the adam- adamantium onto him, and it like is burning him alive, and he passes out underwater. So, what was Stryker's actual intention for Logan? Just to be one of his goonies? Yeah. He wanted him to be his his weapon. So, had he not <laughs> overheard that they were going to wipe his memory, it would have been perfect. Yes. So they were going to use stupid Stryker, <laughs> Deadpool, I guess Sabretooth. And Logan. Well, I don't think they were even going to... I think Deadpool was because Logan didn't work out. So Deadpool was the next plan. So then why did Sabretooth kill uh, Charlie? Uh, who knows? That's what I don't understand. And then there's also... I never understood There's that. also a love story that was faked. A stupid one. And Sabretooth pretends to kill her to get... The story she tells about the moon is a better love story than her and Logan. <laughs> um, yeah, this movie was not done well. Yeah, I, I watching it this time, I hated pretty much every bit yeah. of it. Well, they and they keep doing. So I, I feel like the first X Men was kind of his origin story, but then they like redo his origin story. In this, well, it wasn't a way, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I, I would have never known that he wasn't always just adamantium. I would have never known that. I would assume that's how he yeah. was born. That's fair, but it, this movie is bad. <laughs> um, I, and it, it, it's frustrating hmm. through all these movies that they also can't decide what they want Patrick Stewart to be. What do you mean? He's he's because we see him. Young in a wheelchair, young not in a wheelchair, old in a wheelchair, old not in a wheelchair. Yeah. Throughout the whole series, he's everything. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. This We're going to see a Xavier origin story where he's like in a wheelchair from birth. <laughs> and it's not going to make any sense. <laughs> I hate it all. <laughs> Are you interested in an Xavier origin story? No. Not even a little bit. Are you? No. I mean, I feel like that's kind of first class, isn't it? I mean, it's not him learning his powers, but it's him, like the origin. I'm curious about yeah, the origin no, of I guess the. We good enough. The, that's all I need. Yeah, the origin of the school is kind of all you really want, I think. And then Magneto, his short origin in the first one, like his short story, uh, being at the concentration camp, like that was good. Mm-hmm. And his yeah. No, I think we've got enough of that. His love story with his wife, I thought, was really well done. Um, like when his wife and his daughter die in yeah. Days of Future Past, I believe. Um, yeah. uh, I thought that. No, no, no. It, is no, it that's first, a, it's is apocalypse. That first class. It's is it apocalypse. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Okay. Sorry. It's, it's the been only good part the, of that. Geez, movie. These movies are so yeah. jumbled. Um. But yeah, no, in this one, it, it felt so unnecessary. Like, I think it worked in Apocalypse 1 because Apocalypse wasn't all about that, right? And then yeah, Michael Fassbender is great. And Hugh Jackman is yeah. good too, but I don't know. This is just too much focused on it. And uh, the, the plot twists, there was like so many twists that it kind of overdid it. Like, But they were so, they were so... Like you didn't care about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in uh, like it it would have okay. made more sense had his wife just died. 
don't fake don't do that fake out yeah don't ever bring her back that made no yeah sense. that just made it worse um it made it pointless saber tooth all for nothing i wouldn't make saber tooth rapey in the beginning murderous i i can follow like that i felt like that was a uh consistent thing you could have built in that five minute scene right like i don't i don't i'm gonna this is gonna uh-oh. this is gonna uh-oh. sound controversial i don't I like where don't, this is going at all i don't mind him being Ooh. Rapey for 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 two uh-huh. reasons one, make him that sleazy bad guy, not just the murderous yeah. bad guy. Two, I feel like the Vietnam War in general was just a really dark time for American yes. soldiers. I feel like that's probably something that well, well definitely I'm positive. That's something that it's definitely something happened. that happened. So it would make sense for Sabretooth to get caught up. Yes, in that. But, but it would have been better to for it to be a progression. Like each you want to see sequence, him. we see him <laughs> doing something. That's borderline not good, and maybe Wolverine stopping him or noticing. Like, yeah, yeah. Civil War, nothing, and then you see World War One, and he's like doing something that's a little, you know, little above <laughs> just killing the enemy. And then World War Two, same thing, yeah. until it progresses to Vietnam, where he's like full on bad guy. Yes. Uh, so I think with it, what had they done it like that, I'm okay with the rest. <laughs> <laughs> um. With what they were doing, right? It was a there was no dialogue, for the most part. Nope. Um, Which I'm fine with that. Yeah, no, I'm fine with that too. I think it would be really hard to do to justify his turn to being rapey within that first few minutes, but I think you could have done it for him turning murderous, and you could have justified that because he's not he's not rapey at all the rest of the movie it's just that one moment he you never feel like he's going to abuse another woman again other than rape someone he murders or he fake murders someone the other he doesn't even do that um but yeah it's i think you could have had him killing like maybe killing some some pow's in world war ii that were already captured or had already surrendered something like that and then you get to because it I still I don't know I I don't think that the turn to rape works it's just like a visceral response you see it like oh wow that's a really bad guy but you it's not earned at all but right. with him dying so many times his his value of life would start to deteriorate you know and start to go away and you could justify that so is it implying that they're dying over and over again um well, he says, wake me up when it's over, when they're about to get shot. I guess that would imply that they've been through that before. Yeah. Or else they have no idea that they could have come back. Yeah. Well, no, they show them dying in the in the other wars when they're running up. Do yeah, they? yeah. They're, they're getting shot and they're getting shot down at least. Um, yeah. I, and that's they're fine. They're getting decommissioned at best, worst. Like the moments... From my understanding, the moments they get shot and taken out is the end of that war for them. And then they progress to the next war. And, you know, it goes all again. Yeah, but but with how we've seen Logan uh-huh. heal, yes. he should get shot, drop, and immediately, not, maybe not even drop. He should, he should be, he should... He should essentially be dying a hundred times each war because he can take he heals so fast. But that's what we were saying earlier. Or what I was saying earlier was, what does um, him not having the adamantium do? Like if his skull cracks, right, and his brain gets jumbled, how long does that take for him to heal? What we see now in most of the movies is his recovery from a flesh wound, which. That being quick makes sense, right. but maybe if his brain gets destroyed, it takes a lot longer. Like we see at the end of this movie, where he gets shot in the head with an adamantium bullet, and he goes into a coma for a long time. But but does the adamantium have any bearing on how fast he's healing? Um, so Stryker's procedure doesn't didn't do anything with that, did it? What's that? No. no. The whole adamantium it, no, thing. What, it was what happens just is it protects his organs, 
right? So a bullet will bounce right. off his skull and just be a flesh wound versus, you know, destroying his bones and all that stuff. So he doesn't, his bones don't break anymore with adamantium. His organs, right. for the most part, are safe. Everything, any damage he gets is mostly just going to be... Superficial. Yeah. But back then, okay. before the adamantium, it would destroy everything. He wasn't... He he could just regenerate. He he wasn't yeah. like invincible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. So my my impression is, if he got shot, he was out of it for at least a couple days. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, so, at what point does Striker come? So, if there the firing squad happened in Vietnam, right? So what is that? Seventy six. Around then, yeah, late seventies. Um, what point does this movie take place? Because it feels like, yeah, I uh, at least the nineties, right? So they're in military. I was thinking maybe two thousands. Military prison for thirty years without breaking out. Yeah, no, that doesn't make sense. Because it it feels like it happened in Vietnam. They got they're on the firing squad. And then Stryker shows up. And the up. next day, Stryker comes yeah, to see like him. Yeah, like within the the week. But that doesn't it doesn't seem consistent. So may so eighties maybe. I, you think a no, couple years? No, because then if you okay, well think of it like this, okay. right? So X Men or X Two takes place when two thousands? Yeah, something like that. And think of how much older Stryker is. So he presumably about twenty years older, you could say, than he is in Origins. So this maybe does take place in the eighties. But I don't know if it's ever it's specifically said. It's definitely not stated, but I feel like the technology is all newer, isn't it? Well, so what technology is there? They just have cars, the plane. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. I yeah. I'm not sure. That's a that's a bogger. <laughs> um another one of the inconsistencies. So all that happens and at some point <sighs> it's so dumb. The it's very dumb. <clears throat> so the second timeline Jean Grey releases Wolverine from being Weapon X in first class. Does she? I don't even remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen Because he ones. wasn't going to be in first class because there's no reason for right. that. They just have the cameo. Yeah, when he's Weapon X and she releases him from Stryker's lab. But when would that ever fit in? Well, wait, no, I don't think we're talking about first class, are we? Yeah, that's first class. Jean Grey's not even in first yes, class. She is. Are you sure? Yeah, Sophie Turner. I don't think she comes in until Days of Futures Past. Maybe. I'm positive she's not in first class. And the only time that we see Wolverine is he's in the bar, remember, and they approach him and he tells him to get lost. Oh, that's right. So when does she release him? Is it Apocalypse? May, that might make more sense. And maybe it's Apocalypse that she frees them. And that's after. I don't remember that at all happening. Yeah. So it must be. I need to. I need to it must be that. Apocalypse because at the end of Days of Future Past, Stryker catches them. But it's actually Mystique. But then they are like, just kidding. It's not actually Mystique. It's actually Stryker. And then they turn him into Weapon X. The timeline is so. Yeah, I don't remember that. I don't up. remember that at all. Um, X Men Origins while. Wolverine is <laughs> a giant mess. Um, Sabretooth and Let's just hit the Wolverine fight a bunch. Okay. The fights were not. Yeah, I want to talk about the crew. Mm -hmm. What do you think about Will? I am a bad actor. Fine bad actor. mutant. Bad actor for sure. What do you think about? I don't know what his name is. Friggin' the Blob guy. The blob? What's he before he's the Blob? I don't know. I, th I think that's all his name, isn't it? 
No, because he hates being called oh. Bob. Um, yeah, I don't know his actual name. He he was fine. I don't know. It was kind of a dumb scene. Them boxing together. I don't. I think his only purpose of being in the movie uh-huh. was for the tattoo joke. To show that he got the tattoo of the girl, and then when he gets bigger, the girl gets bigger. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know the, the whole. So I feel like the whole point of that scene was so they could do the the claws through the the boxing glove. Like I feel like that was the only purpose. Now, is he actually a mutant, or is he just morbidly obese? He's a mutant. What's his power? Being fat. Being fat. Being indestructible, I, I think. I know that the blob is a mutant in the X Men uh-huh. thing, but what does he do in this Nothing. movie? What can Nothing he do? Nothing in this movie. Um, he could just take a hit. Was he? Was he the strong guy in the beginning? Yeah. Okay. I've not, for some reason, that's the first time that's occurred to me. Because I was like, "What happened to the really <laughs> strong guy? The guy who punched the tank?" Did not realize. Yeah, that was him. he turned into the blob. Yeah, he used to be like a, just a big old ripped guy, and then he turned into a the big old ripped guy. So my favorite, you know, big, big old rippy. <laughs> um, I want to for for really quick yeah. here. I want to talk about Ryan Reynolds. Yes, watching this movie the first time, you know, it came out the first couple of times. I I hated every bit of it. I don't know why. Mm. I think I just kind of didn't care for Ryan Reynolds in general at yeah. the time. But I kind of liked him better in this movie than I remember. Yeah, he's like fine. I didn't have a, any problems with him. Like his his jokes were were there. I didn't see any wires hanging from him when he was doing his stunts. Well, I thought great. that was dumb. The when he comes busting in like the Matrix fight scene and he does uh, all the yeah. sword fighting against the bullets. I thought that was okay. Stupid. So what is his power? Um, he's just good with a sword, but does he have like? Yeah, insane in this, reflexes that he can see bullets. In this movie, I think he's just good with the sword. I think that's all they establish. But is that a power, though? I mean, if you can chop bullets uh, in half, then maybe it's just reflexes. I, I guess. But like, I feel like if it's reflexes, you would pick a different weapon than a sword. Yeah, like a shield. Or why not have a sword and shield? There you go. I don't. It's it's dumb. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, anyways, they they do their missions for Striker, which I don't understand what those are about. Uh, or maybe I just don't even remember because it was stupid. They're hunting down adamantium. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Yeah. Freaking dog. Freaking dogs. Okay. Just the one. Um, um, okay. <laughs> the Gosh, we are an hour into this movie. Yeah, we, we have not talked we have not anything. talked about it. It it's really not good. There's not a lot that happens. No, it's, he gets his There's no the, redemption. The adamantium uh injected into his body, then he goes and fights everyone. He finds out that he was double crossed and triple crossed. And then gets shot in the head, and his wife ends up is making strike. So alive. she's got power of influence. Anytime she touches someone, she can make them do what she wants. And Which I think that's cool. It's it's, it's similar to like Kilgrave. Yeah, not as powerful though. Yeah, and she makes uh, Striker walk. She says, "Walk until your feet bleed, and then keep going." Which is, yeah. I always wondered once he got caught, which what happens. He's just moving his feet. Yeah, like, like you, like it, like we've seen. If it were Kilgrave, right, that guy would not just stop walking. Yeah, no, he would just. They would. He would like be. He would walk into a wall forever if he yeah. was given the opportunity. Also, they were on so the island. I don't island. know how. Yeah. So, just did he walk into the ocean? Just, yeah. How did he <laughs> end up on the road? Yeah, I don't know. Um, but Wolver. So the movie ends up issues. Sabretooth survives they kill deadpool sort of they wolverine gets shot in the head oh yeah and is in coma. i want to talk about that scene we'll get there in a uh, minute striker is walking I... off into the distance gambit is in this movie oh we haven't even talked about gambit 
Gambit is such a cool character, I, and they ruined him. He was so bad in yeah, this. Yeah, he was really dumb in this movie. And I actually I get. I like that actor, like from Friday Night Lights and stuff. But in this, yeah, was, no, he's a good actor. They, uh, the writing was the writing in this whole movie is just really bad. Yeah. And every it, character, I didn't, e- I wasn't even a huge fan of Wolverine in this no. movie. Yeah, he wasn't very good. He's he, he wasn't likable. He was just whatever. <clears throat> uh, Gambit when he's chasing him up that fire escape, and Wolverine mm-hmm. chops the fire escape into non-existence is one of the worst yeah. uses of their powers in any of these movies. Of a fire yeah. escape? <laughs> like the it's just it's so dumb. And I I have a feeling that Wolverine only chopped once or twice and they looped it. Or Hugh Jackman only chopped and once or just, twice. Cuz we we're just watching a gif. You basically, like you look at it and it's the exact <laughs> same movement over and over and over and it's just like would he really agree to this? Like, it, this seems like something you'd be like, oh, this, I, we could do something better. <laughs> we could do something that yeah. is, doesn't, I don't know. To me, it, it was really dumb. Also, the metal just disappeared. Like, he chopped a full fire escape into bits, but that doesn't mean it just disappears. There would be at least a pile of scrap. Yeah. There's a lot of inconsistencies. Yeah, a little bit. That being the biggest one. That, that's the worst one, I think. Fire Escape. I hated... Yeah, I, I didn't like him in this movie, uh, Gambit. Yeah. But it, it's 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 a weird blend of, like, I didn't like him, but also I feel like they didn't use him enough. So I don't know yeah, they didn't where really, that line is. Well, they didn't use him enough to justify ruining his character. You know what I'm saying? Like, similar... I think a similar thing I feel Ridiculous. about Night Nightcrawler. It's like, oh yeah, he's such a cool character. You want to see him more, but they kind of did it weird. You know, like yep. I know. Um, well, at, at least, this time they were also planning on doing a Gambit movie. Yeah, and supposedly that's not completely dead yet. Yeah, uh, Channing Tatum. It keeps getting like. Sh- it keeps getting shut down and brought back and shut down. It's not. I don't think it's ever going to happen. I don't think so. I mean, especially now that Marvel has bought Fox. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's true. I think Marvel is Maybe kind of just, tying they could, everything. They up. could always introduce him into the universe. Well, we don't need a movie. No. Well, I, I'm pretty sure after Avengers Four, Marvel is going to bring in the X Men into the MCU. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I think they're going to I think a lot of the current characters are going to get kind of used up and you know mm-hmm. kind of have their storylines wrapped up and they're going to have to usher in new people and I think Wolverine uh I don't know it's hard cuz it I I don't know if they'll bring Wolverine right away I don't I don't want to see it but then at the same time you can't have the X-Men without Wolverine yeah. so it's a weird yeah, I don't it's know. a weird position Do you, would you rather would you rather see no wolverine or someone else play wolverine mm. well hugh jackman after logan said that he wanted to be in the mcu i think even after oh i just because I, I i know i've read some things but i could have swore i just saw something that wasn't long, mm-hmm. long ago saying that he thinks that they'll bring it back but it won't be him. Yeah, I don't think they'll bring I don't think they'll use him again, but I think he would be up for it if it's under the MCU. Um hmm. but I don't know, like uh Tom Holland being Spider-Man yeah. wasn't awkward for me. Like seeing him in the MCU, although Andrew Garfield was not a great Spider-Man and I, I was never Ugh, that big no. of a fan of Tobey Maguire. Um, I know a lot of people. No, he 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 was a much better Peter Parker. Yeah, but like the them replacing it was never that big of an issue for me. Um, mm. so like I think no. it's gonna be harder, especially. I think I would probably have a harder time with Professor X than I would with Wolverine. Yeah, because. Uh, Patrick but, Patrick but Stewart no is to. He's... just Professor X. Like I'm pretty sure in real yeah. life. I'm um, yeah. No, and I'll Hugh Jackman is a good Wolverine, but I I could see that it being easier to have that character replaced. But I would have a hard time seeing anyone else as Professor X. 
what if they just like super aged James McAvoy? <laughs> um, well, James McAvoy as a young Professor X in the MCU mm-hmm. or a younger Professor X, maybe. Like he's a really good actor, and he's already established. It's weird. I I like him, and I think he's a great young one. But I don't see him growing into Patrick Stewart. They they just it's too yeah, different. No, like it's not no. believable. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's interesting for sure. But be... I, again, I I, I want to go back to Deadpool yeah. slash Weapon Eleven, whatever. The sword, and I think we've brought this up before. The swords. Where are those swords when they're not out? Can he bend his elbows? Uh, so I think he creates them. Oh, so they're not just in him like no. Wolverine. I think he, I think he sees Wolverine's claws and he's like, "Oh, I can do that," and he creates like he manifests blades. I don't think they're like embedded in his body. Oh, because I hated that. <laughs> like where those things would go up to his shoulders. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think he just walks around like a <laughs> robot. I don't think they're, and he's just like, ow, ow, ow. I don't think they're a part oh. of him like Wolverine's claws are. Oh, okay, um, that's fine. People, there's that clip from Deadpool with Baraka, the, or Deadpool picks up the, the um, action figure, and everyone says, uh-huh. oh, he picks up the character from, uh, X Men Origins, and they like make a joke about it. But that's Baraka from uh, yeah. Mortal Kombat. I don't. What's when? Where? I, when was that? I don't remember that. I don't know. I haven't seen the whole movie. I've just seen clips of it. But that was one of the things oh. people complained about, or they said that he had a Deadpool uh, toy from X Men Origins. But it's it's clearly uh, the guy from Mortal Kombat. It's got the blades in his hands. Hmm. Well, if you watch Deadpool, mm-hmm. at least number two, the after credit scenes, without spoiling anything, obviously, they it's a bunch of little mini jokes, and they do poke fun at his Deadpool role in yeah. Origins. It's pretty funny. Well, anything else about X-Men Origins, Wolverine? Yeah, so I know we've talked about Origins in the past and how I never actually saw the complete mm-hmm. version. Mine was like the non Oh, yeah, one. that's right. That that scene, uh, I guess it's I don't I think it's an after credit scene with with Deadpool's head. Mm, yeah, in the sand. I never saw I never saw that, so that was yeah. new to me and also dumb. Didn't like that at all. <laughs> well, it makes sense that he wouldn't die. Yeah, it's still dumb. Oh yeah. Well, everything about this movie is. They they did so bad with Deadpool. There was literally no reason for him to even be Deadpool. No. If you're just make up a mutant if you want, just, just don't use one. Oh, it's so dumb. Yeah, I don't. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Go ahead. It's stupid. It, that's and I hated the Diamond Girl. I thought that was so stupid too. Yes. Because there's another one. Right in first class. Yeah, the one played by January uh, Jones. January yeah. Jones. I always get them like I get these movies so jumbled in my head. Even after just watching them, yeah. So do so, so do they. <laughs> it's so hard to keep track. There's just too many characters with too similar abilities. I feel like every time they're filming a new mm-hmm. one, the director's like, "Hold on," he's like, "Which one is this a sequel to? I don't remember." <laughs> um. They're like, well, we'll, we'll kind of make it a sequel to all these different ones. Well, I, I, so I looked up the timeline, and it is very confusing. There's, there's like three separate timelines that none of them really work together. Okay, I'm gonna assume it goes something okay. like this. Hmm. I guess technically you have. Apocalypse Apo- in a yeah, way. So the beginning of Apocalypse is the earliest. Okay. Okay. And then you have Wolverine Origins? No. At least first the beginning class. Beginning of that, right? Uh, well, because, yeah, I guess the war scenes, yeah. Well, because I'm pretty <clears throat> sure Origins, 
I want to say when he's a kid, it's got to be the 1800s. Well, we know because he's in the Civil War as an adult. So 1850s, yeah. maybe? So the beginning of Apocalypse, the beginning of Origins, into First Class. Does First Class come before Days of Future yes. Past? When they go back to the past? Yes. Okay. That's fine. So then those two movies play out. And Except for the future or- scenes and Days of Future Past. Yes. Right. And then Origins finishes. And then you have yeah, origin um, finishes. I'm a suit, but apocalypse. The Wolf apocalypse, Rain. I think, finishes before origins. Uh, yes. And I then would, yeah, and then origins finishes. But then there's then also the Wolverine. But then there's a, a a split because no Wolverine happens after um one and two, but there's a split. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. Of the timelines. So before Wolverine went back in time, it heads to one and two in the Wolverine and Logan. But then Wolverine goes back in time and no, creates... No, Logan's, Logan's last, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying the timeline heads that way. And then... Uh, then okay. And I guess Logan can fit in both. But then the timeline splits yeah. off with uh, Days of Future Past into Apocalypse but apocalypse would have happened regardless it doesn't know. it's so confusing like that's why you shouldn't do time travel stuff like it's just bad if you're well i feel like they tried to fix some stuff and it just made it worse. Yeah, they try to make room for that pedophile to come back <laughs> uh, oh yeah brian singer but uh yeah i don't know x-men origins is not my favorite I was so excited. No, I was living in Africa when it came out, and I think my grandparents sent it out to me, and I was like pumped, and I watched it. Oh, really? I think I watched it by myself on like a projector. Like I don't think anyone wanted to watch uh-huh. it with me, and I watched it, and I was like, "Oh, this is not good." <laughs> I was so sad because I it was like I didn't have very many movies with me in Africa, and it was one of the few that I actually mm. had, and I was like. I'm never going to watch this again. And I don't think I did the entire time I was there. I did have a question yeah. in strikers lab where he has all the X-Men locked up hmm. or whatever, like with uh Cyclops. Yes. Do we see, um, Quicksilver? Uh, is he, he's gotta be, is he the dude who's like tied up like by his arms and his legs and he's like, spinning around really fast like he's trying to escape i feel like that would be him. maybe i don't know the so that's another thing right so cyclops is captured but in first class why is he getting in trouble for wearing those glasses as if that's the first day anyone's ever seen him he's worn those glasses his whole life i don't know what you're talking about (laughs) it wasn't the first day okay it shows him and he's he's in school Mm -hmm. right and he's sitting there, and he's got his glasses, and the teacher's like, "Scott, take the glasses off or whatever," and he's like, "I can't do it." Well, like, uh, why is it an issue today? Like, well, again, I think the the powers manifest. So maybe the first time he wore yeah, I guess so. glasses to school. That's true. So wait, how did his manifest? He woke up one day and he was blasting a hole through his ceiling. Yeah, maybe. I also don't. Killing I don't people? know how they would have figured out which glasses he can wear because they're like very yeah. specific glasses that he can wear not just like regular sunglasses uh, <laughs> i don't know let's it's exhausting let's, let's wrap this up i don't think is there unless there's anything else pressing that you want to talk about yeah the weird the weird cgi patrick stewart that's again. terrible the, all the cgi is really bad it's so this. awful it looks i don't but in a movie full of bad CGI, this one stands yeah, out. Yeah, no, I agree. It, I don't mean... So I don't do CGI professionally, amateurly. Amateurly? Amateurly, um, yeah. No, that's right. I don't do it at all, right? But this came across as amateur. It, Very lazy. I, I definitely couldn't do better, but I also wouldn't get paid any money to try. And I, and I watched this, and I'm just like, man, what happened? They must have run out of budget, and they must have been really short on time. I can't imagine 
They ran out of budget for sure. I'm because even at the time, like the other the other X Men movies, Wolverine's claws looked way better. This looked awful. Is shocking. I don't the the claws didn't stand go out back, to me. So I don't go back know. and watch the bathroom. I will scene. never go back. I can't do <laughs> and it. And you, it, it'll shock you. It looks like they just pasted it on top of the frame. Like it doesn't seem like they tried to blend it in or do anything. Like it, it looks huh, really okay. bad. I might look. But anyways, next week we'll be back. We're gonna be talking about the Wolverine, the second of the Wolverine trilogy, which Wolverine kind of has eight movies. But we're gonna just go with his yeah his independent movies. So Wolverine next week, Logan the week after that, and then we'll get into Days of Future. No, uh, First Class, the First Class trilogy. Correct. But uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back next week with uh, the Wolverine. <laughs>